Hello again, I'm Commander Exegius, and today we're going to be looking at the best methods to use when engaging in one of the more difficult aspects of the game, finding coordinates on planets. While many locations have been added to our navigation panel, making this far easier, there are still times when we'll need to navigate to a set of specific coordinates on a body's surface. To get started, make sure you know exactly where you're going. What I mean is ensure that you have the proper coordinates in terms of negative and positive numbers. I've seen many commanders searching for something only to discover they're looking for a negative number while they're at the positive number. For today's tutorial, we're going to be navigating to the following coordinates, negative 3.7 by 73.4. As you approach an interorbital cruise, turn and keep your side to the planet. We want to navigate using pitch rather than yaw as our pitch rate is far faster, allowing for much quicker course corrections. As soon as you enter orbital cruise, turn and fly in a compass heading of either 0, 90, 180, or 270. This is the primary key when navigating. If you always fly in a direct compass heading, either latitude or longitude will change, making it far easier to line up with your target. Once we're flying on one of those compass headings, note which of your two coordinates are changing. If you find that you're going in the wrong direction, say latitude is increasing rather than decreasing, turn and head 180 degrees in the opposite direction. So if you're on a heading of 90, you turn to a heading of 270 and so on. As you approach your first number, begin your turn to the second. While you're approaching, if you make smaller changes, you'll see which way you need to head for your next number. Now that you've gotten near the first, you can turn 90 degrees to fly on the next direct compass heading. If you see the first number you found change, you can alter your heading slightly by either 5 to 10 degrees or so to stay as lined up as possible. Now the tricky part. As you approach your exact coordinates, you have two choices. You can begin your descent about 20 or so degrees before you're going to arrive, such that when you enter and exit glide, you'll be right on target. This is, however, much trickier and something you'll get better at with practice. The easier method is to simply turn and face directly at the planet when above your coordinates. Then, when you hit the drop point, rather than entering glide, you'll drop around 45 kilometers or so above your destination. While less than ideal, it really doesn't take that long to fly straight down, boosting the entire time. You can also go flight assist off and just let gravity do the work without the need to boost. While this might take 30 to 60 seconds, it can be far faster than overshooting your target and needing to get back into orbital cruise or to have to cover 40 kilometers of level flight. While planetary navigation isn't much fun, and it's absurd that we still don't have the ability to place markers on planets like our 21st century navigation systems allow, once you get the hang of it, you'll find your destination in no time. Oh, and a quick pro tip. If your destination has a data point to scan, generally that will add the location to your navigation panel for a return trip. Hopefully this method will have you spending less time faffing about and more time enjoying the resources planets have to offer. This has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching.